and the other prediction of the right, and below you can see the load and displacement as a function of time. Um, the um, fuselage um, validation was done using the published uh, model by a uh, published test uh, done at NASA Langley, uh, this drop test, and they also uh, use a simulation, I think, with LS Dyna. So we kind of re recalculated or we reproduced their results using our model. And again, uh, the validation was satisfactory. Now, um, to make sure that, that uh, we uh, cover all the bases, we use parametric status for simulations. We use different velocities within the uh, framework or, uh, of, this, uh, of the report, of the official report, which is uh, the um, uh, maximum and the velocity of this plane was about 80 meters per second. Uh, so we used, um, uh, for example, one of the cases was 77 horizontal and 19.2 vertical up. Uh, the mass is 78, uh, 600 kilograms uh, with uh, about seven tons of fuel. Um, uh, you have, you can see the other dimensions. Uh, the density of the birch was uh, also increased to make sure that we um, make um, uh, stronger basic birch for our simulation. And these are the, 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 the simulations. So the yellow is the birch. Of course, we don't have uh, trees. So we just uh, use the uh, trunk. And the airplane, uh, from that distance, is huge airplane. Uh, the wing, wingspan is almost 50 meters. And it's, uh, more than 50 meters long, uh, capable to run with uh, fly with 100 people inside. So uh, those simulations show basically that it's a damage. You can see some flying material, flying of aluminum from the front edge. Um, close up, you can see uh, within the time uh, is on the le uh, left corner here in seconds. So between in times point 0.02, uh, the, the birch is basically broken due to dynamic load um, that experience uh, by, exerted by the uh, uh, longitudinal first um, beam of the of the wing. <coughs> so uh, I presented this this work uh, to parliamentary committee in Poland, and recently, a couple of weeks ago, to. <coughs> A European Union Parliamentary Committee uh, as they were interested in those results due to the fact that uh, nine of the uh, um, generals who died in this crash was NATO generals. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, uh, they, 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 they were very, very interesting to, to see uh, different take, let's say, on the on this um, explanation of this of this plane, so you can see here that uh, um, of course I, once I have the model, I can see the stresses, vibrations, waves uh, uh, moving, and so on. But what is interesting that uh, in all cases the front part is damaged because this is very uh, thin uh, aluminum and leaves about 60 centimeters gap. And uh, when we had opportunity to look into the pictures of the um, uh, debris of, of, the, of the whatever left after the plane crashed, the whole edge, front edge, is intact. There is no such gap. So that, that so that was another surprising to me that how they could claim that the birch was the case, um, you know, causing the. Uh, uh, separation of the wing if the front edge is not destroyed. So, um, so this were my conclusion that in fact the, the, the uh, uh, based on the parameters provided in the official report, the model shows that the wing of the of this plane cuts through the birch for every an analysis scenario. Now, because this, as I showed you, the wing was found 111 meters in front. And together with uh, another professor, Professor Brown, who is expert in aerodynamics, uh, we uh, try to uh, model a flow flight of this free separated wing to see how it's supposed to fly. So again, you can see uh, the picture from the uh, 
satellite, this is the tree, this is the location of the, of the wing, and uh, uh, using uh, uh, CFX, uh, ANSYS CFX uh, analysis and LSDINA, we found first the flow of the stream uh, of the air around the uh, wing, and this is just before it is separated from the uh, in invisible airplane, and this is after it is separated. So you can see the generation of the turbulence on the back side of the wing as, as anybody who is studying uh, aerodynamics would uh, expect. Same thing with the dynamic pressure. If the plane is flying you know, in the, the right way, the uh, dynamic pressure, the highest is on the front edge. The other pressures produce the lift of the airplane. And the moment that you uh, separate the wind, uh, it, the forces will rotate the position of the wind, and therefore the pressure distributes over the front side of the of the wind creates a um, strong force, and pressure times area basically is the drag force. So um, in in LS9, we use arbitrary Lagrangian Valerian method constrained Lagrangian in solid keywords, and uh, we simulated this uh, in invisible air, and, and in this moment it is separated, so for the first second the uh, wing is flying together with invisible uh, airplane, and then it's le left out to behave as physics or numerical simulations would show that. Now we are flying from behind, and now it's separated so you can see it's, it's kind of chaotic uh, movement, flying like a leaf almost. Of course, the speed is, is, is much, much higher. And again, from the side, um, now it's separated and uh, it's kind of whatever, uh, whatever the pressure and the position of the, of the wing would allow this to, to, to do. So if we put the movement of the center of mass of this uh, wing, uh, piece in three-dimensional uh, space, we can see that um, this is with the moment of separation that the plane has the tendency to move in the direction of the airplane, but also to the right side of the airplane, which is good because this is how, exactly how it was found on the, uh, in that area. Uh, however, if we connect this uh, curve to the location of the verge, at 6.5 meters away, this curve would predict that uh, the wing would hit the ground about 12 meters away with the velocity 100 kilometers per hour, and not 111 meters as it was found. And of course, we, we remember that between that part and somewhere here, there's uh, some other trees, so uh, there's no uh, ability for the for the wing to go up and skip those trees, basically. They, they, it has the tendency rather to go down. So uh, my prediction um, uh, uh, of the separation uh, is this point, and uh, uh, also at uh, 26 meters above the ground, because if it is anything below, it will have no space to move to the right side. Okay, you need to give that uh, space for the dynamics, our dynamics to allow a movement of the wing, so eventually it will move a little bit to the right and it needs to move 10 meters, so. <clears throat> now, also if it, did, if it was separated exactly in this location, and because again, this is the uh, path of the airplane, so the wing was somewhere here, you can see that there's no any trees, so this part can fly and stop on the wall of trees, which also makes sense. Now, at the same time, if it uh, uh, was separated at this location, uh, uh, which is at 26 meters, and about 70 meters away from the uh, verge, based on this prediction, it will hit the trees at velocity about 40 kilometers per hour. And this is 600 kilograms mass of aluminum. So, you know, if it hits uh, with uh, 43 kilo, uh, about 40 kilometers per hour, the bunch of trees, they will break, and, and it, could, it is consistent. It looks, uh, at least in my eyes, consistent to that velocity, not 100 kilometers per hour. 
So this is my other conclusion that, in fact, my prediction shows, uh, Dr. Brown prediction shows that the, that, that separation happened about 70 meters away from the verge, 26 meters above, which is consistent with the black, with this black line, which is uh, measured by uh, Tufts and recorded in the black boxes that was disregarded by um, uh, investigating committee. These are all the tests, the, all the measurements of the black boxes. So this is the location of the bench. What we found uh, that about that time, uh, where I predict the location where, where, where the uh, bench, uh, where the wing is supposed to be separated, you have two sharp uh, accelerations. Nobody knows what those accelerations are produced by, but definitely they are not by the birch because they are later in the time. They were not explained in the uh, investigating committee. Um, so um, there were, of course, other shortcomings of the investigation. Uh, they, they uh, you know, one hour after the crash, it was announced that it was the pilot error. Mm -hmm. and, uh, in, and basically anything that were the, the, they were looked for were, were to, to uh, substantiate this announcement and uh, anything that was not uh, substantiating the announcement that this is pilot error that was disregarded. So investigation standards were violated as, uh, as uh, I understand from IPO uh, requirements, uh, key evidence not secured, uh, uh, wreckage of the plane destroyed, the next day, crash site not secured and not pre preserved. The area cleaned up, trees were cut down, the, even grass was burned the, a few days later. Coffins with victims were uh, sent to Poland, sealed, and until 12 two years now, nobody uh, had the right to open those coffins. And uh, when one of the American um, uh, experts, uh, Dr. Baden, who is the uh, one who made the autopsy for the President Kennedy went for the, on the request of families uh, that uh, uh, secured um, autopsy for their uh, loved one. And uh, the uh, Polish government would not allow him in, even to make uh, to, to be to work as an obs obser you know, to, to do observations of this autopsy. Um, so evidence manipulated location of the bridge change. You know we have uh, uh, evidence like uh, satellite pictures that shows the, uh, that the, the, some of the parts of the airplane was moved from one day to another, and then in the report they are marked as the second position is the right one, not the first. The previous day, um, <clears throat> a Russian report contains statement that do not appear on the transcript from the cockpit voice report uh, recorder. Evidence withheld, um, as, I, as I said, two years after the wreckage of the plane, um, black boxes and other key evidence is still in Russia, and, and no international uh, expert is allowed to go over there and to touch it or to see uh, firsthand. So um, I would be happy to answer any questions. At the same time, I would like to. Uh, <coughs> show the, <coughs> how the evidence was taken care of, of this plane the two days after the, the, uh, the crash. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have a few minutes for, uh, for the Q&A and then we will have a 20 minute break. So any questions? Uh, Rob?